This I just wanted to give you this most famous case, George Gallup, Gallup polls, you might have heard of it. He did stratified sampling. That's the current and that's the scientific method that everybody has been using for more than a decade now. What is that right? No, no, more than almost a century, almost 100 years now, since 1936. So not quite in 100 years, but 70 years at least, more than 70 years or, um, yeah, yeah, more than 80 years. Anyway, it, that, that's the scientific method. George Gallup first came up with it. And, and basically he became famous in the 1936 election. There was a giant magazine, which we don't hear of anymore. They were as big as, they were the biggest magazine in the country at that time. They're like Newsweek or Time or, or whatever. They were the giant magazine. And they polled 10 million people about the 1936 election and got it completely wrong. George Gallup, a young, he was young at that time. He polled only 50,000, way less people. And he got it correct because he used stratified sampling, which means he, he broke the sample. Stratified, he, he breaks, he broke the sample. Right, right. He broke the sample into racial, gender, income, et cetera, groups. So he took, he wanted to know what the nation was going to do. So he said, look, you know, maybe 60% uh, of the nation is white and uh, 30 per, or 40% is, is, um, is Hispanic and maybe, uh, or not too much, whatever. I don't know what I'm just making up numbers here. Maybe this is 40 and 30 and whatever, blah, 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 blah. He broke it up and then men and women and, and rich and poor and live in the country, live in the city. And he made his sample stratified. It, 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 those are called strata, different, different groups. And then he was able to get to the truth. That's the scientific method of polling that they do today. There we go.